Over the last three years, I've been collecting these travel magazines, which are now collecting dust on my shelf. What better way to use them than to let them decide where I'm going to go on my next trip? I'm going to use a random number generator that will let me know which magazine to pick, and then it will choose the page for me. Wherever the page lands, we go. Well, to make it challenging, I cannot fly. The other thing as well is I will be booking my return flight home from the destination before I leave. So I will have to make it to where I'm flying home from in time to catch my flight. I am also going to set myself another rule, which is if I arrive in a new country, I have to spend one night there before I can move on. So without further ado, let's find out where this mystery country or place is. So we've got one, two, three, four, three, seven, forty-eight, forty-nine magazines. So there we have it, we've got forty-nine magazines. Right then, let's find out which magazine it's going to be. So I just did the first one. Now remember, I have only got ten days. And the results were Russia, Kyrgyzstan and Australia. So we roll it again. 49 magazines generate. We got number 25. So 1, 2, 3, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. National Geographic from March 2023. So that is this month's magazine. And it's front cover is India. So how many pages are there? There's 178 pages in this one. I can't believe we've got this month's magazine. What are the chances of that? So we'll put in 178 pages and we get page 141 so let's see what page 141 is one oh, one three nine one forty okay so one four one is blank but the one next to it, 140, is Sofia, which is, if I recall, is Bulgaria. Well, we can't go to Lima, so it's going to have to be Sofia, Bulgaria. So Sofia, Bulgaria, eastern part of Europe. So I'll show you now on the map where it is. So all the way over here is Sofia, Bulgaria. One of the furthest points in Eastern Europe. We have to make this journey over a series of 10 days. So join me as we travel from the UK to Sofia without flying. Two weeks later. Good afternoon from Chester bus interchange. So two weeks ago you would have seen the computer choose my destination and here I am today off on my journey. So the journey is starting in Chester, England, heading down to London and then London over the channel into mainland Europe. So here we are in stand N of the Chester bus station. The first bus is just under five hours from Chester down to London, Victoria. Um, I've got a two and a half hour change in London, Victoria, and then on to Ghent in Belgium. Now, the first bus is costing me just under 70 pound. The 70 pound for the bus is probably more than the flight would have cost me direct to Sofia. But it's all part of the journey and the experience of traveling through Europe. I don't know if you can see that, but my first bus is already eight minutes late. Seven something. So that's okay. All the seats are not Passengers must remain seated at all times with the seatbelt securely fastened. This is, of course, a non smoking coach, and as always, the consumption of alcohol is forbidden. The next stop for this service will be Birmingham. Okay, ladies and gents, for those of you who joined us here in Birmingham, this is your Flexbus service to London, Victoria. 
calling London Finchley Road and London Victoria only. Hello from somewhere on the M6 motorway. So we've stopped over. So we had a stop in Birmingham, picked up some people and the driver made an announcement to say he needs to change driver. I uh, went on to say that he informed the company to let the driver be here waiting for us. Alas, we arrived and no driver. So he said it can take up to half an hour for the driver to come. So I've been inside, got a coffee and a cookie six pound 25 starbucks now i just need to wait for the driver to arrive and get on our way again so just outside of birmingham on the m6 so probably another two hours to go before london so it's an hour later and we are still waiting for the replacement driver for our coach um first leg of the trip it's supposed to be 10 days of traveling through europe by bus and on the first leg we have come up against some friction so um, I have no estimated time of arrival into London obviously I'm supposed to be getting a bus from um, London to Ghent tonight um, we're supposed to leave at half past 12 so to arrive in London at half past nine but at the moment there's no time there's no update on time of arrival so will I make my connection to Ghent we shall see but a lot of people are complaining because they've got connections they're missing their connections and we've been here for an hour now and uh, no sign of any movement the replacement driver finally arrived and we were on our way but then we hit major traffic jams on the m1 motorway so this is us at 12 o'clock not even in london yet so there we are we are three hours late getting to victoria i have now missed my connection so I think I'm gonna head into the departure hall and see if there's anyone about. What a fucking joke. So as expected, I got to Victoria Station. There was a Flix bus there, but it wasn't my one. I tried to get on it and he said no. Um, I got no help at all with trying to sort out a replacement bus. So it's one o'clock in the morning here in London. I've booked in, well, I'm gonna try and book into a hostel. I've contacted one gonna head there now 15 pound a night get my head down see what I can do in the morning I've checked for buses tomorrow morning and a lot of them are fully booked I just need to get across the channel ASAP otherwise my whole plans are fucked cheers So here we are in the city of Westminster when I should have been in Belgium. Behind me is the pub of White Berry Hostel where I stayed last night. Managed to get one last minute, 1 a.m. in the morning. I searched on Hostel World, found one, and it was £23 a night. Nine bed dormitory, triple bunks, and I was on the bottom bunk. Perfect night nice sleep, lovely beds, and nice showers. So, White Ferry Hostel, come and stay cheap good facilities now I've rebooked a bus this morning half past 10 from London Victoria I get into Belgium at 8 p.m. that is around 12 hours after that I was supposed to get there which means the bus that I'd booked to get from Belgium to Germany is gonna be missed as well so I hope it's not going to be a domino effect and all my first two days of travel is not just going to go up in smoke. I've spoke to someone at Flixbus, it's still quite early here in the morning, it's 7.55am so I've had no response really. We're going to wait and see what happens but hopefully we'll get refunded the money I've just had to fork out. The fork, the, I had to pay £95 to get to Ghent in Belgium when originally my bus from Chester to Ghent was only costing me 69. So it was a big old hit on the wallet. Now, if you compare the first two buses 
to a flight is probably really outweighed it. I've just checked out of the hostel that I stayed in last night near Victoria. In terms of hostels, probably up there with what you'd really want in a hostel. It was a bit loud in the morning, but I was awake anyway, so it doesn't really bother me. But uh, I'm just thinking about my plan and what I, what I had originally planned. And I was supposed to arrive in Ghent in Belgium early this morning, have four hours to explore the city, and then go on to Aachen in Germany. However, now that my bus has been <laughs> rearranged due to no reasons in my control, I've now lost the time in Ghent. But I have been there before, so it's not all that bad. I did, however, plan on going to see the a thing called the Graffiti Wall in Ghent, Belgium, but we'll miss that. Look at that old building all boarded up. Prime real estate here in London. But anyway, yeah, so I've had an overnight stay in London. My first overnight stay was supposed to be in Aachen tonight. Um, so I'm going to have to cancel my hostel and uh, hopefully we won't get charged for it. But if I can make it to Aachen by tomorrow morning, I should still be on track to kind of follow my first few days itinerary. And after three days, it's hit and hope basically. So just really hope I get to Aachen before tomorrow morning. Otherwise, I miss another quite expensive bus, which is going to cause even more problems. And if Flixbus don't even refund me for this one I've missed yesterday, then I'm going to have on a very expensive trip on my hands. But in swings and roundabout terms, the hostel last night, £23, you can't go wrong. Oh, there's a Flixbus now. wonder where that one's going. But yeah, £23 for a hostel. When I was looking on booking.com, there were hotels. 100, 200, 300, 400, I was like, oh God, don't really want to be spending that much money on a hotel. So I think for now, this is going to be the end of this video. Um, if I get on the bus at half past 10, I will resume as episode two. But yes, thanks for coming with me to London, full of excitement. See you tomorrow or in a few hours.